Oh, Mark, your first two home league goals for the Dons tonight and a man of the match award, but bittersweet in the end for you. Yeah, it's a frustrating one. Um, I think we're always here today. That's not us. First half and second half. Uh, Gaffer made it clear, or made it clear at half time and obviously full time that things need to change. That's not acceptable. Uh, we've got to take on a chin before we as soon as we can. How on earth do you explain that first half start by us? It's one of the things where if you're not switched on from the beginning, you're going to get punished. Uh, mistakes all over the place, not winning enough headers, I would say, or maybe not playing the way we usually play, so letting them do whatever they want to do. So um, that was not us. Obviously, it's clear to see, and yes, I said before, I'm going to move on. What happens out there? Do you try and sort of gather composure, or do you have to sort of get back in and regroup at half time? Oh, it's just one of the things where if it's not going your way, you want to get into, you want to let's say get into the break as soon as you can, half time, regroup. Um, get the tactics right and or change a few things. That's what happened. Unfortunately, for the second half it was it was something we didn't expect. They didn't going to score straight away. But if we just kept it simple, the way we're playing, obviously things that work for us, like it did for us, the two goals we did score in the second half. We just would have kept doing it, and obviously we didn't. Unfortunately, so we first and second half. What's it like for you sitting on the bench at the time when when that's going on? When you want to get out there and influence things. Ah, oh, you just itching to obviously help the boys. So you, you hate it. It doesn't matter if you start or not start. You just want to help the team as much as you can. And it's a team effort. And I said it previously in the past where it's going to be a long way to go in this in this, in this season. So got to move on from that and obviously focus on Saturday and walk him away. You just saw Ali out there, of course, as well, and uh, set you up with the assist to get you on your way to getting the brace tonight. Yeah, I mean he's good as God. I said it every time I had an interview about him. We've got obviously a good relationship going, and I want him. I want him to do well going forward, he's got a long way to go. But if we are on it, or it doesn't matter who plays up front, Pelly or Davison, like, we want to do well for the team and we've got to do that going forward. How do we regroup from this now, of course, with a long trip to Morecambe, of course, on Saturday? Yeah, first things tomorrow morning, um, get a recovery right. Uh, look back at the footage individually, individual mistakes, where we can improve on, where we can obviously cross the ball maybe better or play forward. And yeah, got to learn from it. Do we put this one down to perhaps as a blip? Um, first half, yeah, never again. Me personally, I'm going to make sure it's not never going to happen again, and I'm pretty sure the whole team will do the same. Oh, man, that's good to hear. Thanks Brilliant. for your time. Thank you. Cheers.